So now let's get into the good stuff. How do I install the latest version of WordPress on my web server using SSH? And the reason we want to use SSH or Secure Shell is because it is so much faster and frankly easier than doing it the long way via FTP and everything. Um, a lot of people say that using SSH is like not for beginners and it's like, you know what? It's good to learn this stuff and it's not all that hard. You just have to be careful and realize that uh, there's not really any undo when it comes to using this. You really need to get it right the first time, but don't let that intimidate you because I'm going to walk you through it, okay? Um, so what we want to do is we want to install WordPress on our web server, and let's actually go here. I'm actually at the WordPress site right now. And under normal circumstances, what you would do is you would download WordPress. Uh, this is the software. Um, you would download it by clicking this button right here. You would then log into your site via CyberDuck, um, and you would upload all the files that way, and you start configuring things. And that's all fine, and that works. But there's actually a much faster and I think easier way to do it. And I'm going to show you how to do this. What you need to do, one little thing that I want to point out to you here is that if you hover over this and you see this is this is currently the latest version of WordPress available for WordPress 3.4.1. And that's like we're in mid-June right now or mid-July right now. Uh, and uh, and if you but if you, WordPress does a cool thing, if I hover over this, look in the lower left hand corner, you'll see this is actually sending you to a file called WordPress.org slash latest.zip, or if you download the tarball, latest.tar.gz. Um, WordPress has does this really nice thing where they always name the latest file, the latest version, they always name it latest. And so you'll see how we can use this to our advantage, okay? Um, so we're not going to bother downloading it through here, because we're going to do it in a much faster and much cooler way. What we need to do is we actually need to log into our site via SSH. And to do that, remember, we go back to Finder, we click on Go, where this is under Utilities in the Utilities folder. Or if you've got it, if you've got the terminal already in your, your dock, then you're one step ahead of me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on Terminal. We've opened up a new terminal window here. And let's go ahead and log in. So to do this, we need to use the command SSH. We need to write now our username. And I'm just going to open up my little information window here so I get the correct information. The username is test user, okay, and then I need to put the at sign and I need to put the domain name or the server name which is robobunnyattack.com. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now what it's going to do is just, go, just going to ask me for my password. Okay, this isn't my first time logging in so I don't get all that other mumbo jumbo. It's just going to ask me for my password. I'm going to copy it from here. I'm going to carefully move my cursor here and I'm just going to hit paste. It has pasted it there even though it doesn't show me. That's fine. I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. We're logged in. Hurrah! Just to make sure, let's hit LS just to list. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, why don't we just simultaneously open up a new connection in CyberDuck. Just, this is just so that we can visualize what's happening. Okay, just so you just, just in case you need any more convincing um, that what we're doing is actually happening. So robobunnyattack.com, I'm going to log in using the test user here. There we go. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put my password there. Connect. Okay. There we are. We're logged in and we're seeing the same thing. Mailder logs test.robobunnyattack.com. How cool is that? Okay. First thing we need to do is we need to actually get ourselves out of this home directory, this like root directory. We need to get ourselves into the directory where we want to actually install WordPress. Okay, in this case, I want to install WordPress at test.robobunnyattack.com. I actually want to install it at test.robobunnyattack.com slash WordPress, but I'm going to explain it. We're, we're going to be able to do that in a second. I'll explain how. Um, in FTP, in CyberDuck, it'd be pretty simple. I just double click on here, and there we go. We're in the right directory. Hurrah! Here, we need to use the CD command, and then I'm going to go ahead and say change directory to test.robo bunnyattack.com. Okay, so change directory to test.robobunnyattack.com. Let's hit enter. There we go. Let's verify. I'm going to hit ls just to see. And yep, yeah, I'm in the right directory, so that's all good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce a new command to you. This command is called the wget command. And what this is, is this is, this is super cool. This is actually a command that is going to go to a website and grab a file and move it onto your server 
all automatically. It doesn't even go through your computer. It goes from their server, from the WordPress server, directly to your web server. It never goes to your computer. You can probably imagine why that's faster, right? If we did it the old fashioned way, if we actually went to say here and we downloaded this, okay, we'd be downloading these files to our computer and then we'd be going to CyberDuck and then we'd be uploading it here. You see why it takes longer, right? Because we're basically, we're like bringing it home and then we're sending it somewhere else. Here, we just, we skip that all together and we just say, hey, go and get that file and install it on my server. And we need to give the correct address and that's just going to be HTTP colon slash slash WordPress dot org slash latest dot tar dot gz. Now let's before we hit let, before we hit enter, let's just examine, let's just talk about why we know where this is. We're saying wget, go onto the web and go get this file and install it on the server. Okay. Um, and the address, you'll probably this address probably looks familiar, right? This address right here. Where have we seen that? That's the address right here. Okay, if you look in the lower left hand corner, that's exactly what that is. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to just hit enter. And look at that. Look at that cool stuff that's happening. There we go. See how fast that was? 3.2 seconds. Okay, I guarantee you, if we had down, it would have taken way longer than that just to download it to our own computer. And then to upload it, don't even talk to me about that. Anyway, now, how do we know that we've actually installed it? Okay, or, or not installed it, but how do we know we actually have that file? Well, let's just do an ls, okay, and see. There we go. Look, we actually have four files here. We've got favicon.gif, we've got favicon.ico, we've got that tarball file right here, okay, and then we've got quickstar.html. How come it's not showing up here? Well, because we actually have to hit refresh. So let's go ahead and hit refresh and look, there it is right there. Isn't that super cool? Okay, well, that's not going to do us much good right now, right? That's actually what's called a tarball. Okay, that's just a type of compressed file. Uh, we need to un, you know, uh, uncompress it. And so the command to do that, I'm still in the same directory here, the command to do that is going to be tar. Okay, and then I'm just going to add xf said, and that's just some administrative uh, commands. Don't worry about what it means, just trust me, it's going to work. Now we're going to just type out the name of the file that we want to uncompress, and that's latest.tar.gz. Okay, that's the name of the file right there. That's that file right here, right? We're just going to, so the tar xfz command, that's just going to uncompress this file and put the contents in this directory. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And we're done. Um, how do we know we're done? Let's do ls. Okay, there we go. Now we have this new folder here called WordPress. Let's go ahead and hit refresh here and we see the same thing. So what happens when you uncompress this latest.tar.gz file? It creates a folder called WordPress. Okay, and if we look inside here, we'll see there's a ton of different files in here. That would have taken forever to upload via FTP. Trust me. Okay. Um, last but not least, I'm actually going to remove that archive file. We don't need that file there anymore. You see that file right there? We don't need it there anymore. So to do that, I'm going to use the remove command. That's just RM. And then I'm going to go minus F again. That's part of the command. Uh, and we're going to go latest.tar.gz. Okay. Um, so RM space, minus F, space, and then the name of the file we want to remove. Okay, take care when you do this, because when you remove things, there's no undo. You're seriously removing them, okay? Let's hit enter. That's it. Let's hit LS just to make sure. And now we're down to just those four items there. Let's just hit refresh here. There we go. Isn't that cool? All right. Now, um, that's actually all we need to do right now to just install those files right there. We haven't configured it yet, but it's there, okay? Um, what I do want to point out, though, is that this means that you've installed your WordPress uh, files at test.robobunnyattack.com slash WordPress. In our case, that's what we want, because I actually want to install it right there. What if you didn't want to install it there? What if you actually wanted to install it like one level up? Like you, or not one level up, but you wanted to install it so that when I go to test.robobunnyattack.com, it actually just loads right there, okay? This is how you do it. What you would need to do is you would need to move all the files that are inside 
the WordPress directory here, you need to move them all one level. And you can understand, you can probably appreciate how that would be a pain in the butt to actually like select all these and then move them up and then, you know, it's pretty easy to click on the wrong thing. Um, there's a really simple way to do this in here. Okay, what we would do is we would use the move command, which is MV space, and then we'd specify, we say we want to, everything that's inside the WordPress folder, and I'm going to use this asterisk to be kind of a catch-all, okay, that says everything that's inside the WordPress folder, I would like to move it up one directory. Whoops, not the question mark. There we go. So move folder name slash asterisk for the catch-all, that means everything inside there, space, and then period, and then the slash is just going to bring everything up one directory. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? Um, you, I would recommend you not do this if you're planning on actually installing um, um, WordPress in that directory, but I'm going to go ahead and do it just to demonstrate how this works. I'm going to do that, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and hit LS just to see what's going on. There we go. Look, all those files have been moved up. There we go. They've all been moved here. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove that empty WordPress directory. So to do that, I'm going to say rmdir, that's the remove directory command, space, period, slash, WordPress, slash. And that just is the command to remove the empty directory WordPress. I'm going to hit enter, and let's hit list again. And now you'll see that that WordPress directory is no longer there. See, there was the WordPress directory there. It's not there anymore. Where is that WordPress directory? That WordPress directory is right here. Let's hit refresh, and it's gone. And now you've got an installation of WordPress right here. We haven't configured it yet. That'll be in the next screencast. Okay, um, thanks for watching. I hope that that's been helpful. I'll see you next time.